An event was held this weekend to raise awareness about domestic violence. The number of injunctions is up 20% from last year, so officials say the message is getting out. But there is still more work that needs to be done. One woman whose mother was killed as a result of domestic violence is making it her mission to help. News 13's Bakari Savage has the story. It's been a long, rough year, but uh, we're still going strong, you know, trying to bring awareness and, you know, put an end to all these horrible, horrible, violent crimes. Um, Batista says domestic violence is an epidemic. She stood in front of a booth for the I Am Gladys Cabrera Foundation to honor her mother, Gladys Cabrera, and educate others about domestic violence. Batista talked about the day her mother was shot and killed at the Eminem Beauty Salon in Castleberry when the boyfriend of the shop's owner violated a domestic violence injunction. The problem is, is you're always going to have a certain segment of society that is not going to follow the law no matter what. It doesn't matter whether they get an injunction or not, they're going to harm somebody. Judge Mark Lubit received the 2013 Justice Award for his work in domestic violence court. He encourages victims to have a safety plan to help. Safety groups were at the event educating the public. Lubit says their efforts are showing the number of injunctions are up 20% from last year. However, Batista says they have a lot of work ahead and she's using her mom's death as fuel for her part in this fight. It just angers me and I'm turning that anger into strength to continue to fight for other victims slash survivors because these women are going to survive. You know, I'm going to make sure that they can move forward with their lives. Moving forward with her life, Batista says, you don't have to be involved to be a victim of domestic abuse. Her story is proof. <laughs> you never know what you have until you lose it. And my mother was my prized possession. She was my number one supporter. She was my cheerleader. So who's my number one supporter now? The community. Batista hopes that support will continue Sunday morning with a planned walk for the I Am Gladys Cabrera Foundation at Crane's Roost. In Orlando, I'm Bakari Savage, News 13. And to find out more about Sunday's walk, just go to our website, mynews13.com.